This is Isaac Kotick, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can save presets in Ableton Live 10. This works great if you download some pack from uh, someone like myself, Subaqueous Music, or Afro DJ Mac, or something else where it's a preset that they have. You download the pack, you install it, there's a live set in there that has a bunch of presets in a live set, and you're like, okay, how do I go ahead and save these things so that I can use them in other tracks? Well, that's what I'm going to show, as well as if you make the craziest, awesomest, best bass wobble noise ever existed, how do you save it so you can load it into your other projects? I'm going to show it off in Ableton Live 10, so let's look at it. All right, so here we are in Live 10, and we're going to want to save a bunch of these presets. All these different presets are from my Colossal Thunder collection. It's a huge pack of these epic sounding drum sounds that you can use for cinematic hits, whatever you name it. So I've got them here, and all I did was open up a live set. So if I go to open live set, I've got these here, and I would click this, and it would open up this particular set that had presets. Now once I'm here, I want to save them. So all I have to do is I hit this little save icon at the side. If I hit that, Ableton Live will save this preset within my user library. Well, my user library is set in Options, Preferences, and Library. Here, you can set the location of wherever that library is. You can also set where packs are installed. Now, these packs are official Ableton packs, not third parties. You have to do something a little different, which I have a video on, on how to do that for my packs and other people's. So, now it's in the user library, and I can go through and I can save a bunch of these within that user library. Now, whenever I want drum racks, I open up drum racks, and bam, there they are. One cool new feature is we have this new collections here in Ableton Live 10. So if I right click, I can add it to a collection. So let's add it to percussion. So I right click, add that to percussion. Now in my collections, bam, I've got those two. It's a great way to have like maybe your effects, percussion, kicks or bass lines, whatever you like to use. and there are a bunch of different options. So I can even add this to blue, for instance, and look, now it's under two different collections. If I wanted to do that, I can see that now in both. Great, so that is the simple way of adding presets, saving them into your user library. Now let me show you a little bit more of an advanced way. The way this is set up in Live is that it throws everything into these folders where once you hit save, it goes into them automatically and they're separated by device. So all drum racks will go there, all instrument racks will go here, and so on. Specifically when you start looking at things like your audio effects, it's gonna throw most things that I create into my audio effect rack. Well, I might not necessarily want all my settings separated by the type of device that I made them in. For instance, I might, instead of wanting to have all my presets that are percussion separated into drum racks, simplers, samplers, and operator, because that's the device they were made with, I might instead want just one folder that has all my percussion sounds. Well, what I can do is within the user library, it's important it's in the user library because it still saves all the samples in that one project, which is your user library. I right click, I say new folder, and let's call this percussion presets. Pro tip, if I do something like put an asterisk or exclamation point or something at the top, it automatically puts it at the top of the list because it's alphabetical. Now, if I drag these samples in and save them, I will have all of my samples within this single folder ready to deploy. I find this a lot more helpful in organizing my presets because sometimes, like in this case, my subaqueous presets, these are all the presets I've made for that music project. And I know that it fits the palette of whatever that project is, and the same with my Silk Drop presets. Those are very specific for that musical project. Now I just pointed to that with my places by adding folder, but all these presets live within my user library. 
and it makes it very easy to organize instead of just using the stock way that Ableton wants you to, which still works. It works great if you want like the super easy route, but I'm obsessed with organization, a little to a fault. There you go. That is saving presets in Ableton Live 10. I hope you find this really useful. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm going to have a lot more hacks, tips, and tricks on Live 10 using Ableton Live to speed up your music production, fast songwriting, all sorts of stuff like that. So check it out, subscribe, and check out the other videos on my channel or link to my website to learn more Ableton Live goodness. Thanks a lot.